Early. Yeah, well, I wanted to treat everyone to a nice fancy breakfast. That's a nice idea. But the B&B's full of bikers, and if I don't go and fetch some extra bacon, there will be a mutiny. Come in. Oh. Hi, Laurel. Do you two know how ridiculously early it is? Couldn't sleep. Things on my mind. You know how it is. Oh, hardly. How is I'm doing? I hit the pillow. Next thing I know, it's time to get up. I'm sorry, I can't stop. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. You're pushing the boat out. Yeah, well, you know how much April loves eggy bread and I've got black pudding here with your name on it. Thought I was in the doghouse. Can we just put yesterday behind us? Wouldn't it, we're that straightforward. Oh, come on, Dad, don't push it. Adam and Ed, you're me up. What's with the Spanish? Oh, Italiano. He's going on a coffee course. Any excuse for a day out. <laughs> Look. Told you. Told her what? How long's that been going on? Too long. Katie hasn't even got a flipping headstone yet. What do you fancy eating tonight? I'm not bothered. Andy. Not now, Debbie. Burgers for tea then, babes. Loves his burgers in. Gotta keep him happy, ain't you? Smile at me, lady. I can't believe you're shacking up with that skank. And in Katie's house. Sick. Don't worry, I've got that madam in my sights. Ah, she's gonna be scared of you. You free dinner time? Yeah, do right now. What's her problem? Uh, just me and Andy. You and Andy, as in? Don't worry, I'm a big girl. Any breakfast orders? No, it's all right. Marlon's already fed us too. Yeah, you know, on account of us being unceremoniously thrown out of our home. Mm. Oh, it was Andy's decision, not mine. He wants you to collect the rest of your stuff. Back on any time. Right. I'm going to have to throw myself on the mercy of Alicia. And, you know, it is the last thing she needs after everything that she's been through. What are you going to do? Check up with Kirin, I expect. If you love you, look what happened when he tried to move into ours. Are you, uh, busy this morning? Uh, no, nah, I'm never busy. Great. Angel has been a bit of a handful. I've managed to sort most of it, but I wonder if you could do me a quick clean. Yeah, of course. Uh, call it 20 quid. Uh, I'll do it for 10. Even better. Cash up front. Keys? Right. Um, just leave them under the mat when you're finished. Um, cancel that coffee, Brenda. You've just nicked my job. Oh, what can I say? What's yours is mine. Oh, apart from in my cards. Fill your boots. It's okay, you didn't need to bring me them back. Oh no, I wasn't planning to. I was going to impress you with my selling skills. Yeah, well, you were supposed to do that yesterday. Oh, is April. Oh, okay, thankfully. A very lucky escape. Just have to make sure that nothing like that ever happens again. Mm, trust me, it will do. I mean, April, she's hardly low maintenance, is she? Yeah, all the more reason for me to keep my eye on the ball. From now on, Marlon and the kids come first, which is why I need this job. Well, go on, then. Impress me with your spiel. Right. <laughs> I must warn you, friend or not, I can't afford to carry passengers. <sighs> Cappuccino, please, Brenda. You want to have a word with your Nick Hill? I've been trying to get in touch with him, but he's never online. Oh, he's probably just busy with Tanya. Who? His girlfriend. Oh, that's new. They've been going out for six months. But they're thinking of moving in together. Hasn't he told you? No, no, he hasn't. Oh, Brenda, I'm really sorry. No, it's, it's all right. I'll bring you to her. I cannot believe that Nick 
Abigail hasn't told Brenda about Tanya. I mean, she's Molly's granny. Maybe that's why. Oh. Sensitive subject. Yeah, but you, you can't just go airbrush and Jenny out of history. Oh, he would never let that happen. She obviously thinks so. Hey, let me guess. Glass of shard, though. No, just an orange juice, please. And um, whatever Dad's drinking. I'm already catered for. Thank heavens for that. I thought it was just me he had the hunt with. Chaz, you ready? Defo. Um, hold the fort for five minutes, will you? Somewhere I need to be. Sorry about yesterday. Water under the bridge, apparently. I shouldn't have snapped. It's just been a bit of a stressful time, but it's all going to change now because, um, Bernice is going to take me on. <laughs> is that really a good idea? Oh, can't you be pleased for me? This is the first job I've had in weeks. But these parties, aren't they just an excuse for ladies to get together and have a good old knees up? Dad, I've told you I don't need a drink. I worry about you. Yeah, and I'm telling you that everything's looking up, OK? So have a bit of faith. Right. I'm off to the shops. Anybody want anything? Rishi, a salad for lunch, perhaps? Well, I've got some sausage rolls. You haven't. I binned them. You did what? When you had your heart attack, you promised all of us that you'd start eating healthily. Do you want to drop dead before you're 70? If it gets me away from you. What? Play nicely, guys. Play? I don't want to play with her. Be honest. You're only here pestering me because Rodney came to his senses and dumped you. <laughs> nice one, Dad. <laughs> Ta da <laughs> Oh, you were so right to persuade me to go to Dubai. Did I? I left here a broken woman and now, well, I've never felt better, so as a thank you... <laughs> I can't wear those. It's skeggy. I'll be laughed off the beach. We can do better than Skegness. Tora Molinos? Even better than that. What's this? A new hotel one of Lawrence's contacts is building. We could never afford to stay there. We could if we were paid to. They need an experienced administrator to oversee construction of their spa facility. I thought you went there to flog tractors. It's a six-month contract. Well, to begin with, but once it's in what I'm capable of, who knows? Can you slow down a bit? I know it's a lot to take in, and obviously I haven't given them a final yes or no, but basically... we're moving to Dubai. <laughs> You and Andy. Are you sure it's what you want? You can tell me stuff, you know. Uh, get out of my house. Sorry, do you mean Andy's house? No, what's the point? Katie's. She's only been dead three seconds. Anyway, what are you doing here? Talking to me, mate. Mate? Sammy, she's exploiting a grieving man. I want you out of Andy's life. He's got his kids to think about. I've got no problem with him seeing Sarah and Jack. They can come to tea any time. Are you for real? You're going nowhere near my kids. Are you so thick that you can't see how warped this is? Andy can do what he wants. He's a grown-up. Sam, she's a user. No, she ain't. At any road, you two can't talk. You can pipe down. <laughs> I'm sick of you two reckoning you know best. <laughs> Bossing people around, gobbing off. She likes Andy, he likes her. That's all there is to it. Do you know what? This isn't your problem. No, and it ain't yours, neither. Do you want them here? No. You heard it. Do what? You stay away from my kids. This ain't over. And you need to be more choosy about your mate. The weather is amazing. The salary is ridiculous. It'll be a whole new adventure. Who says we need an adventure? OK, it's impetuous, but you've always been spontaneous. Have I? 
You seduced me in the back of a truck. We haven't looked back since. Nico, I am really glad that you've got your mole job back. And that's but... what I thought when Rafe offered me the job. Rafe? My new boss. You're always saying that what matters most is giving me an angel the best life possible. Well, here it is. A chance for us to make something of ourselves. And what about our friends? Your dad? Bernice? You slaved your guts out your entire life. Isn't it about time you took a break? I mean, why shiver your bits off in a cabin when you could be playing golf? All day, looking after Angel. Isn't it a bit like Saudi? Thomas says you can't even get a drink. I Dubai is different. There's ways around that. But Rafe loves it. He moved his family out there three mm. years ago. They got a little girl about Angel's age, and, and his wife's so happy she stopped taking a medication. It's the best decision they've ever made, and that could be us, Jimmy, living the life. I like the life we've got. No, you just think you do because you don't know any better. I'm sorry, Nico. It's not often I put my foot down, but the answer is no. <sighs> sorry, an order needed sorting. It's OK. Why would you want to waste your time on a worthless, over-the-hill has-been like me? Hey. You're still a fine figure of a woman. Oh, says the other man who dumped me. Well, actually, you left me. Besides, we didn't break up because you were no longer attractive. Didn't we? No. We broke up because you're really annoying. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel better. Forget about Rodney. He wasn't worthy of you. Here you are. Oh. Hot, sweet tea. Oh, thank you. Ooh, you've been a bit keen with the milk. Ah, she's packed up. Yes. Well, as Rishi says, just because Rodney doesn't want me doesn't mean to say that there aren't plenty of others around here who do. Laurel? Sarah and Jack that you should be thinking about. Sarah doesn't want to see me. Oh, come on, Sarah's just a kid. Get rid of Tracy, Andy. Sort your head out and then we can work something out. Oh, fine. Well, don't listen to me. But I'm telling you now, you're going to be wrecking your relationship with your kids until you do. Right, Sam? You can't let her talk to you like that. When Alice died, I nearly got Samson taken off me. You've got to stand up for yourself. I know it's hard, but I don't need this. Um, look, it'd be nice to Tracy, will you? She's not as tough as she likes to make out. Well, Tracy's fine. I don't want you coming around seeing her anymore, all right? You've been to see Tracy? Yeah, just as mates. I don't mean that <sighs> OK, we could lose a bit of law. But come on, we ought to. We could have a whole baby, shall not? Doug, how to put this kindly. I'm too busy to care what you do with my garden. Didn't expect you back. Well, Eric shut the restaurant to uh, prepare for Val's homecoming tomorrow. Vic's covering at the pub, so for once, I get to cook for my family. Oh, well, I haven't got anything in. 
Okay, I've been shopping then. Oh. Isn't it? First things first though, what is the one thing a chef needs above all else? Hmm? Well honed knives. Mm -hmm. Or a glass of something to whet his appetite. Ooh. Oh, that'll do the honours. Right, glasses wench. Yeah, well, not for me, I'm having the night off. Why? Oh. Paddy's lent me that cash. Doug's paying rent, Ken's fixed the car, you've got a job, it's time to celebrate. Yeah, I, I can celebrate with the fruit juice, can't I? You'll drink with me. I never say no. <laughs> Maybe he was just looking for the right way of telling you. Yeah, because he knows how this changes everything. No. Come on, you're Jenny. She was a one-off. I mean, how could anyone possibly ever forget her? Why would Nicky want to, eh? So what's with this new woman? Well, do you love Terry any less, now that you're with Bob? Of course not. There you go, then. Four words, banana and hazelnut cappuccino. Why are we empty? Brenda? I'll leave you to it. Be nice to her. What's all this? Nikhil's got a girlfriend. Isn't that good? You don't want him to be alone for the rest of his life. He's not alone. He's got Molly. And now it looks like she's going to have a brand new mummy. Well, I'm sure he didn't put it like that. He didn't tell me. I got all this off Priya. What if my granddaughter grows up and forgets that Jenny ever existed? You better answer that. I don't recognise the number. It'll be a nuisance call. She's called Tanya. What? This new woman. You can't trust a Tanya. It's just one of those names. <laughs> right. Molly won't be allowed to forget Jenny while we're still around. Hey, doctor says you can fly now. Nikhil's offered to pay for a ticket whenever you want to go. Why would he do that if he wanted you out of Molly's life? <laughs> He'd better not. She's all I've got of my little girl. Jenny will always be a daughter. It's like me and Dawn. Nobody can ever touch that. No, I suppose not. Tomorrow, I'm going to take you to that tea room in Connelton. You know, the one that Jenny loved? With the lemon drizzle cake. The one with the lemon drizzle cake, <laughs> yeah. We'll have lunch. We'll order everything off the menu that Jenny would have loved. It's high time we had a decent day out. You better answer that might be important. What could be more important than you? Yeah. Oh, you're back! Yeah, down to earth with a bump. I've got no doubt who this place is. Excuse me? It's hardly Dubai, is it? Not trying to be. Oh, you missed Paul. He had to get back. I know, shame still. You'd want to stay here any longer than they are, too. <laughs> a pint and a vodka and orange, please, Chaz. So how did it go? It was amazing. It's like out there, anything's possible. You have an idea and then, hey presto, they just build a new island. Oh, if I had my way, I wouldn't have come back. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a place in the sun. I hate the sun, it gives me hives. It's not what you said this morning. Wasn't it? I spent breakfast listening to him moaning on about the wind and the rain and how much he has to pay for diesel. Never been a glass half full. We're going nowhere. Final answer. <sighs> Can't see what's good for him. Well, that's blokes for you. You give them a choice and they always go for the safest option. That's why we have to do the thinking for them. You know what? You're right. Hey, 660. Oh, yeah, Jimmy will pay when he's back from the bog. Oh, in your own time. Brenda needed a shoulder. So go on, then. Did you ask Kieran? He loves the idea. Oh, very forgiving of him. So I guess it's going to be breakfast in bed for you in the morning. That's never happened. Yeah, but it's your birthday. Yeah, well, I'm not expecting anything. <clears throat> you haven't told him, have you? Birthdays are overrated. Mm. Mm. Rafe, hi. Uh, I've had a think, and I'm really tempted. Yeah, my husband's dragging his heels, but I'm sure I can talk him round. No. No, it's a definite yes. I want the job. Well, I'm really looking forward to working with you. Thanks. Bye. You've still got the hope with me, haven't you? Of course not. 
It's not that I don't understand what a great opportunity this would have been for you. It's just... We'll be honest. We love it here, don't we? Your family all around you. Mine too. Albeit in the graveyard. This... This is the only place where I've ever really felt I've belonged. Right here. With you and Angel. Why change all that? I know what you're saying. Well, thanks for being understanding. Who needs to buy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> More shocking secrets are uncovered as the case continues in brand new DCI Banks here on ITV tomorrow night at 9. Another murder and some dodgy police hamper the investigation for Arthur and George. Catch the latest episode on ITV Player. Top draw Champions League action on the way next, though. We're live from the Bernabeu for Real Madrid versus Schalke.